This is Lisa from Pink Hollybush Designs, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love sewing and smocking with knits. Sewing knits isn't hard, but it does have a few challenges, and one of those is getting a great looking neckband. A serger is ideal to use to sew on the neckband because it gives that great stretch, but achieving a consistent width can be a challenge. If you didn't get it right the first time, the seam allowance is gone and ripping out that serged edge is quite a pain. Not to mention, can you do it without stretching out your neckline? So here's my method. First, form your band into a circle by serging the short ends together and then folding the band in half with wrong sides together and the long edges matching. If you are lining up seams, such as at an underarm or at a shoulder. Pin, pin the band to the garment by putting the pin through all three seams, the two of the band and the one of the garment individually. You want to make sure that they all line up at the stitching line. Just because everything lines up at the edge doesn't mean that it's going to line up at the stitching line. Now on a neckline, I prefer to put the seam at the center back, and so that's what I'm doing for this top. At this point, I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and secure the seam. I promise we'll get to the serger in a minute. I'm using a straight stitch and a contrasting thread, and I'm starting about half an inch before the seam, and I'm going to stitch straight across the seam for a total of about an inch. I use the seam allowance specified in the pattern, but move the needle one position to the right so that it is just shy of the specified seam allowance. Now clip the rest of the band in place. I prefer using binding clips for this rather than pins because they don't distort or stretch the fabric, yet hold everything very securely. At the serger, using a regular four thread overlock stitch, I am beginning just about an inch before the line that I stitched at the machine. I like to lift the presser foot and slip the garment under the foot and lower it rather than just guiding it in. This helps to keep the two layers lined up and prevents this top one from shifting. I'm guiding the band as I serge so that the so that the left needle is lined up with the stitching by the time I get to it. And that's why I'm using a contrasting thread. I've surged around the neckline and as I'm approaching the starting point, I'm going to surge off the starting angled stitching by keeping everything lined up. Once I meet the original stitching that is in line with the current stitching, I angle off the edge. At this point, I will go back to my sewing at this point, I will go back to my sewing machine and just zigzag a stitch or two over that thread tail to secure it. That locks the serge edge without adding bulk or rough bump that can irritate like a sealant. And here is my finished serged neckband. I hope this helps with your serging. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you go to my website, you can subscribe to my newsletter to receive a free smocking plate and a discount coupon to my shop. The link is in the notes below. Happy sewing!